Antarctica is the last continent we discovered, and no one owns it. Actually, everyone owns it. How did this happen? Ancient philosophers thought the Earth must be balanced. There's all this land near the top of the Earth, so there must be land at the bottom to balance it out. People started including this unknown continent in maps and called it Terra Australis Nondum Cognita, or just Terra Australis for short. In 1520, some Portuguese guy sails past South America and discovers new land. It's that southern continent everyone's looking for. I found Terra Australis. Spoiler alert! He was wrong. It's actually just Tierra del Fuego. Some British guy sails to the edge of South America where he finds a funny looking bird that can't fly. Let's call it a penguin because it looks like a penguinus and penis. Some Dutch guy sails south and discovers the real Terra Australis. Spoiler alert! He was wrong. It's actually just Staten Island. Then some British guy gets knocked off course by a storm and discovers the real, real Terra Australis. Spoiler alert! He was wrong. It's actually just South Georgia. Technology update, we found the cure for scurvy so now half your crew won't die every time. And we invented a really accurate clock so you can finally calculate your longitude properly. Now you can do super long sea voyages. Britain is tired of all the fake Terra Australis claims and they want someone to find out if this place is real or not once and for all. So they call in Captain Cook, a legendary navigator who sails around the real Terra Australis in a circle without seeing it because of the fog. Then he rediscovers a bunch of islands and claims them for Britain. When he gets home he tells everyone, Terra Australis is fake news. Even if it does exist, it's way further to the south than anyone thinks it is, and it's a cold, desolate wasteland that no human would ever want to live in. Also, there's a lot of seals. Did someone say seals? Seals equals fur, fur equals clothes, clothes equals money, so you know what that means. It's time to go seal hunting. Everyone starts sailing into the Falkland Islands to find seals. Wait, says some guy. If we keep killing the seals like this, they'll all go extinct. We should set limits so we don't destroy this precious ecosystem. And then they ignored him and killed all the seals. Hey everyone, there's more seals on South Georgia. Did someone say seals? Hey. Are you gonna take that one? It's the 1800s now and seal hunting starts declining because the seals are almost extinct. And the British have to leave to fight Napoleon. And the Americans have to leave to fight the British. William Smith is sailing around Chile and heads further south to escape some bad weather. He accidentally discovers the real, real, for real this time, Terra Australis. Spoiler alert! He was wrong. It's just the South Shetland Islands. He was pretty close though. But more importantly, he finds a ton of seals. Did someone say seals? <laughs> Hey, since the Terra Australis you guys are looking for probably doesn't exist, can we rename New Holland to Terra Australis instead, since it sounds cooler? We can just call it Australia for short. Now we need a new name for the hidden continent that definitely exists. Let's just call it Antarctica for now, since it's on the opposite side of the Arctic. I'm sure we'll come up with a more creative name later. Tsar Alexander I thinks that Russia doesn't own enough cold, desolate wastelands, so he sends Bellinghausen south to find and claim the real Antarctica. He discovers some new land. But by this point, everyone was kind of tired of fake claims of finding Antarctica. New land, sir. Do you think this could be Terra Australis? I mean, Antarctica? Uh, it's probably just another useless island. Honestly, I don't think this Antarctic continent exists. Spoiler alert! He was wrong. It really was Antarctica. Some American guy is looking for more seals and accidentally becomes the first person to stand on Antarctica. Then he leaves because there's no seals. Science alert! We think we've found out the magnetic pole locations. Can someone go in person to confirm? America, France, and Britain all go racing to find the magnetic south pole and they all fail but discover more Antarctica. Hey, remember when we killed all the seals and got rich? Yeah, good times. Well, I just realized there's a ton of whales here. Did someone say whales? Hold up, just so we're clear, the Falkland Islands, South Georgia, and this whole chunk of Antarctica belongs to the British. So you're going to pay us taxes on each whale you catch in our territory. Okay. If people are gonna start living here, then we need to build some stuff. So they build a cinema, football field, church, jail, and cemetery. Now that's what I call civilization. It's time for the heroic age of Antarctic exploration. Some Belgian guy sails to Antarctica and gets his ship stuck in ice for a whole year. His crew becomes the first to spend winter in Antarctica. It's freezing cold and the sun doesn't rise and they all go insane. But eventually they get out of the ice and go home. Hey, wouldn't it be awesome if someone actually walked across the entire Antarctic continent? Says some British guy 
who then gets his ship destroyed by ice and is stranded with his men. Oops. No worries, I'll just sail 800 miles in a tiny boat across one of the roughest seas in the world in the freezing cold while starving and dehydrated. Then hike across some treacherous frozen mountains until I get to civilization. Then find someone with a boat to come pick everyone up. Trust me bro, says Ernest Shackleton, somehow rescuing his entire crew. Who wants to be first to the South Pole? Me, says Britain and Norway at the same time. I'll race you. Alright sir, what's our plan to beat the British? We're going to get a hundred sled dogs, pack light, and go as fast as possible. Whenever a dog dies, we'll eat it. Sounds good. Alright sir, what's our plan to beat the Norwegians? We're going to use ponies! Uh, you know we're in Antarctica, right? Shouldn't we be using dogs? Using sled dogs is inhumane. Besides, we'll look cooler in the pigs if we use ponies. And they taste better. Uh, okay. So the British make it to the South Pole one month after the Norwegians. Then they all die on the way back and become more famous than the guys who actually won. Technology update. Now we can process whales entirely at sea. Which means we can evade the British taxes and catch more whales than ever before. Did some Someone say tax evasion? Wait, stop, says the League of Nations. Please don't hurt the whales. They're precious animals and you'll make them go extinct just like the seals. We need to preserve the ecosystem. And the whale hunters said, How about we do anyway? Technology update, we can fly now. So people start flying over Antarctica and dropping pieces of paper to claim land. Seems legit. The United States is feeling jealous that everyone else has land claims in Antarctica. I don't think your land claims are valid unless you have a permanent settlement there, says the United States before trying to establish a permanent settlement there and failing. It's time for World War II. Chile and Argentina are neutral at the start of World War II and think this would be a great time to go reclaim all of their rightful territory in Antarctica that's currently claimed by Britain. Argentina sails down to Antarctica and starts painting their flag on things. Then the British sail down and paint their flag over Argentina's flag. Then Argentina sails down again and paints their flag over the British flag. Then the British sail down again and paint their flag over Argentina's flag and start building permanent bases in Antarctica. Hey, says America, flying over Antarctica and dropping papers to claim land that was already claimed by Britain, Argentina, and Chile. Get off of our territory, says Britain. You are more than welcome to stay in our territory, says Chile. Argentina sends a navy fleet to Antarctica and builds more bases. Chile builds more bases and the Chilean president becomes the first head of state to visit Antarctica. Look, can we all just agree not to send any warships in this area? Sure, they all say, continuing to send warships. Then the British build a base next to an Argentinian base. The Argentinians fire their guns in the air and tell the British to get lost. The British bring in some soldiers and say, how about you get lost? Look how far you came from home, Antarctica is my backyard. Been living here for 50 years. You colonizers can't make me scared. The sun already set on your dying empire. So go back to your palace, sip some tea by the fire. Britannia rules the waves, Britannia rules the ice. Who discovered this place? Oh yeah, it was us. If you have a problem, then let's have a fight. We'll see how long you last against our military might. Guys, are we really going to die over this frozen wasteland? Let's settle things the old fashioned way with a game of football. Hey, can you politicians stop arguing over who owns Antarctica for a year so we can go do some science? Did someone say science? 67 countries participate in the International Geophysical Year, and now 12 countries have their own bases in Antarctica, and they all work together and do a bunch of science. You know, doing science together is a lot more fun than fighting wars. Yeah. How about we all agree that no one owns Antarctica, and we make it an international science hub? Uh, I'll happily lend out my land for science, but it's still mine. Yeah. I'm not giving up my land claims. Okay, how about this? No one has to renounce their land claims, and no one has to recognize anyone else's land claims, and no one can make any new claims while this treaty is enforced. You can all believe whatever you want about who owns Antarctica, but all of Antarctica will be completely peaceful and reserved for international scientific research until our next meeting. Sounds good. Good. Everyone agrees and builds even more bases to do even more science. We already hunted seals and whales to near extinction. What else can we hunt? Krill. Did someone say krill? Actually, we've had enough of you guys. How about we don't make animals go extinct, say the Antarctic Treaty countries, creating new rules to preserve wildlife. In 1978, Argentina ships a pregnant woman to Antarctica and her son Emilio becomes the first baby born in Antarctica. How cute. And then Argentina decides to start a war. Hey, you know these islands are actually ours, right? Says Argentina, showing up to the Falkland Islands with guns. Then why don't you come take them from me? Says Britain, showing up with guns. Wait, the Antarctic Treaty says we're not supposed to fight wars in Antarctica. Yeah, but that only applies to everything below 60 degrees south. Oh yeah, good point. Carry on then. 
Wait a second, our ozone measuring device must be broken unless there is a literal hole in the sky, says some Antarctic scientist discovering a literal hole in the sky. Can we mine Antarctica for oil? Nope, but you can ask again in 50 years. Okay, see you in 2048. Hey, is it just me or is all the ice melting?